Math time with Ms. Hartzell. Module 8, Lesson 2. I can identify and analyze two-dimensional shapes with specific attributes. Wow, friends, you did a really great job on Monday learning about the different attributes or characteristics that make shapes special. So today we're going to learn about some very special shapes. We're going to be learning about shapes that are called polygons. So not every shape is a polygon. And you're going to learn about this word in just a moment. But before we get into our work, I want you to think about your favorite shape. And you don't have to worry about the word polygon yet. Just think about all of the different shapes that, are, that exist in our world and think about which one is your favorite shape. And then when you're finished thinking, you know what to do. After that, we'll start talking about the word polygon and how we can use the attributes that we practiced on Monday to help us come up with some better words for those different shapes that we were identifying. Because I'm sure you noticed that those three-sided shapes that had three angles and three vertices were actually called triangles. And you're right. We don't usually say, oh, I see a three-sided shape over there. We usually say, oh, I see a triangle. So we're going to review all of the different names that we can call polygons. So we've got to start with that word after our pause and think. Stay tuned for some more learning, friends. Before we continue our lesson, pause and think. What is your favorite shape? There's lots of shapes in this world. And just think about what your favorite shape is. When you're finished thinking, press play. So today, we are going to focus on a specific kind of shape. Yesterday, I introduced them to you, but we just called them shapes and we looked at the sides and the angles and the vertices. But today I'm gonna to tell you their special name. They are called polygons. Polygons are a specific type of shape with special attributes or characteristics. Polygons are two-dimensional or 2D shapes, and they are created by straight lines that connect. There are no open spaces or gaps in polygons, and that's because they are closed shapes. So yesterday, when we looked at all of those shapes and we counted their sides and we counted their angles and we counted their vertices, all of those shapes were polygons because they were created with straight lines that were connected and there were no open spaces or gaps in those polygons. They were two dimensional as well. So to help you visualize this, here are some examples of polygons and not polygons. As you can see on the left side of this T-chart, these shapes are polygons. They are two dimensional, they have all straight lines, there are no spaces or gaps, and they are all closed shapes. On the right side of this T-chart, you see some examples of shapes, but these shapes are not polygons. So not all polygons are shapes, but all shapes are shapes. So keep that in mind today as we continue learning about polygons. We are going to learn their special name. So instead of just calling a, the shapes three-sided or three, having three angles, we are going to learn their true names. So here are their names. Starting with those three-sided, three angles, and three vertice shapes, they are called triangles. The word triangle literally means three angles. The first part of the word tri means three. And you can hear the word angle in the name of the shape, triangle. Our four-sided, four-angled, and four-vertice shapes are called quadrilaterals. 
And this word quadrilateral literally means four sided shape. It means that these shapes are created with four sides. Next, we have our five sided, five angled, and five vertice shapes. We call those pentagons. Penta means five, and gone means angled. And for our last category, those six sided and six angled shapes, those are called hexagons. Hex means six. And as we learned in the last word, gone is standing for those angles. So when you have a hexagon, you have a six sided and six angled shape. So today when you're doing your daily practice and your exit ticket, you will continue identifying attributes, meaning sides, angles, and vertices, but you will also be practicing and using the vocabulary words that you've just learned triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, and hexagons, because these words mean what we learned about yesterday. So instead of just saying that a shape is three-sided, we are going to call it a triangle. Instead of just saying that a shape has four sides, we will call now call them quadrilaterals, and the same for pentagons and hexagons. So as you know, after you have completed this video, you will go on to doing your daily practice where I will give you some reminders about these important shape names, these polygon names. And then when you think that you are ready and you've completed your work in the daily practice, you'll move on to the exit ticket where you will have to do that work by yourself without any help. Do your best. This work should feel pretty familiar because I know that you learned about it in first grade, but just in case you've got some time to practice before you do your exit ticket. Have a great day.